I'm Melissa Guerin. I'm the Chief Scientific Officer at Pelagic Data Systems. I'm Dave Solomon, CEO of Pelagic Data Systems. We are a San Francisco-based technology company, uh, and we have developed this solar-powered vessel tracking device. We built 300 prototypes in a garage in San Francisco, deployed them around the world, learned from every single one. There's no on-off switch, there's no user interface, and there are just four screws that it attaches to the boat with, and then it does all the work automatically. So when you take it out of the box, at the solar panel sees sunlight and it begins communicating with us and collecting data. One of the challenges that fisheries face around the globe is that they don't have access to data to support management decisions. The core of what this uh, device does is collect location data on where a boat is going. The status quo for developed world fisheries for large enough boats that they have satellite VMS is one record per hour. Our system on average is collecting about 600 records per hour. So we can see these very precise places where fishing is happening. When you start to add that up over the course of an entire fleet, managers can begin to see where all the fishing effort is distributed and how to best manage it to minimize impact on the resource and maximize the profits that the individual fishermen are able to achieve. So we've been able to bring data collection and transparency to fishing communities and um, fisheries around the globe that haven't previously had any access to this kind of data. Store it, process it, and get it into the cloud as easily as possible as inexpensively as possible and as reliably as possible. So we really focus on what have previously been considered data poor fisheries and that is the majority of fisheries around the globe. I think when you think about the people that need the most help, it's generally on the edge of the planet. We started in one fishing community, now we work in 60. We're now up and running in 11 different countries um, spanning the Americas, uh, Southeast Asia and West Africa. As the next year goes by, we'll add another half dozen, dozen countries. We work directly with governments, NGOs, um, industry, and academics. The projects go from scale at hundreds of boats per project to thousands. We have launched projects and worked with partners in countries where we've never been, in languages we don't speak, with partners that we hadn't met before, and we've always found success. We see that ourselves as pushing the envelope for transparency at sea. We have created an inexpensive, affordable, and accessible uh, way to have eyes on the water. So with our technology, I think the most powerful opportunity we have is to inform decision making, to provide food security, and an improved standard of living to coastal communities around the world. It's time to expect transparency and accountability at sea. And technology is now affordable enough, accessible enough, and universally accessible enough that there's no reason to settle for having room for atrocities such as human trafficking to hide at sea. And with good information about how they can fish sustainably and how they can make sure that that resource is there for the next generation and the one after that, will allow them to take care of their families and feed the rest of the world.